Hey, what's up, guys? So, unfortunately, the first time I tried playing this game, um, my something happened with my recording, and all my audio just kind of went to crap. So we're going to be trying this again. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and just get right into it. Uh, we're just going to play standard mode. Um, I don't want to make it too difficult because I'm already terrible at it, and I don't want to make it too easy. So yeah, I'm going to shut up now so we can watch uh, cutscenes. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. Yeah, she is snappy, hey, snappy, snappy. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't but Rose is just adorable. Anyways, there we go. All right, so Did you yeah. Say something? Nothing? Nothing. I'll put her down. She doesn't have to know. Uh, oh yeah, like. Yeah, there's a bunch of like little stuff around here that we can kind of interact with. So I'll re, I'll, repeat it and interact with everything again. Uh, yeah, I'm not totally sure what happened. Um, oh. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened with my audio. Just suddenly, I was sitting there, and my audio, the beginning of the recording, was perfectly fine. Her first. Mom got you another new book? Oh, that's another one? Oh, I don't remember him saying that last time. Um, but yeah, it's perfectly fine, and then by the time I hit the end of the recording, everything was off by like 10 Once seconds. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. But, um, you mean mine has? Probably just said screw it, and um, I'm just re-recording all of it because, yeah, it 
was becoming I was having to cut like it was weird it was almost like dead air every couple of frames I'm not totally sure what happened um, I've done a couple of test recordings since and everything seems to be working fine now so yeah that's what we're gonna do it's okay it's okay Rose I know it's terrible it's like I said to your mom I know I know that book's too scary for you done this a couple of times already it's okay it's okay this time I'm actually gonna put you in the cradle in your bed unlike before I would just stop the recording Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's something going on with Mia. I don't know what the hell's wrong with her. Like your mama and I love this song her, so much. She's I don't know her her she's um very short tempered and um I'm not entirely sure what's going on yet. I haven't figured it out. I haven't gotten far enough into the game yet. You know, I've only gotten um I haven't I actually haven't gotten very far at all. Oh, yeah, Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. <coughs> Forget about this. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking. Actually, around. to be fair, I don't think I came in here last time. Let's take a look into the architecture. What? Eastern European. Rose and Keeps by Trevor. George Trevor. I'm sure that's probably a nod to one of the older. This, oh yeah, it's all the gas incident. Okay, so I'll just, um, I'll pretty much read this probably. Everyone's like forgotten about this already. If I remember correctly, I had something to do with, it was like the news, the quote unquote official news report about what happened to the Dolby house from uh, Resident Evil 7. If I remember correctly. Almost there, honey. This is actually a really nice house, but the layout is just so weird. I never heard the dog last time. Oh, jeez. Nice. The ball? Okay, I'm about to put her into bed. All oh, her little clothes. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to bed. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. He is adorable. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, same thing. If you want to read it, just pause. I'll I'll read them when I'm editing because I don't remember it precisely what they say. But I'm pretty sure it's all about Rose um is fine. her medical stuff. They were doing some <laughs> testing for Rose. Um, I'm assuming it has it. They're pretty much making sure that that. Um, I forget what it's called. Like the mold from Seven isn't in Rose. I think that's what they were trying to figure out. I wish it could stay like this forever. But I don't know for sure. I love her little onesie. Like her little bear onesie. It's so freaking cute. That's Rose's heavy farmer's manual for fields. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Joseph Kendo. Which I've heard that Joseph Kendo is another reference. I think it's a reference to like Raccoon City, but I don't. I really don't know favorite toy which can we actually see a couple of these laying around in the um the next part of the game the village if i remember correctly all right i've already looked at all of this so let's continue down um i've been enjoying it so far uh oh i didn't see this girl beautiful yeah she's really cute she's an adorable little girl oh yeah there's something i don't think there's anything over I've already looked up. Okay, start the cutscene. I'm gonna shut up now. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously? be- Seriously? 
think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off her. Fuck. I think the funniest part about that what interaction is that it's... He answers the phone, right? You hear it's somebody who's obviously part of this operation. And first thing he says is, where's Chris Redfield? And instead of, oops, I accidentally somehow managed to click off the game. Anyways, um, I like how that's the first thing he does. He's like, he's worse Chris Redfield. Instead of, hey, the freaking truck is wrecked. Where the hell am I? Come find me. And the same thing with the other guy. It's, it's, every time it's, you're not supposed to use this channel. This is supposed to be a secure channel. Who is this? Who are you? And instead of. Who the hell is this? Where the hell are you? Or anything like that. It, it's just immediate. Like, you had seconds to give out important information, and neither one of them give out anything. Like, it's just dumb. It's a dumb interaction. Well, to me, it's a dumb interaction. I mean, obviously, in the, for the game, it's like, it's really not, but...
It's just funny. I don't know. It's just funny. And that right there, that seat. What we don't know is that that's how he's going to die at the end of the game. It's going to be that tetanus right there. Actually, wait a minute. No, that's wrong. Um, anyways, you'll see why he's not going to die of tetanus. In fact, you'll see in this next part. Oh, these freaking crows. And jump scare. Fuck off. And I'm sure that... Yeah, yeah, did you see that? Yeah, that thing? Hmm. Yep. You hear a handful of them. What'd you think it was? What'd you think it was, huh? Obviously, it's some kind of animal. Oh, I didn't notice that either. Oh, never mind, that isn't blood. That's, that really is just a tapestry. I thought it was covered in blood for a second. And then this crap. After getting my hand cut and everything, I gotta come in here. It's genius, right? We gotta follow the blood. Because that's the sane thing to do. Follow the trail of blood. And I just realized I open this door literally every single time expecting something and nothing changes. Nothing. There's never anything in there. But this though. I always shut that thing off because the drip is so annoying. Why am I opening all this? I already know that there's nothing in here. There's literally nothing in here. Alright, we're just gonna go down. And I'm I'm convinced that because I already know that there's actually nothing down here, that whatever the hell it is that we're hearing, it's on the roof. Oh yeah, and this is um oh. That is supposed to damn it, every time. I think I'd know how to do this by now. Ah, oh, screw it. Okay, that thing is supposed to be Mother Miranda, if I remember correctly. And then there's that. I forget that falls, too, actually. I, I completely forgot about that. But then there's this thing. I still don't know what the hell this thing is. I really don't, but it looks disgusting. And then, of course, we gotta go to the bloody covered oh, cabinet. Open it up, because that's just how curious we are. Just for it to be a stupid animal. Now this is another thing. That floor literally sank in. And what's gonna happen? Oh, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna go back upstairs. And see what it was. Oh, I didn't notice that last time. That's blood. That looks like blood. I actually didn't notice that last time. Now watch this crap, watch this crap. Because genius, right? Instead of just pulling the cupboard up, we're just gonna crawl through all of this fresh blood. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna crawl through all of it. Right? Come on, Ethan. This will be smarter than this. And then look at all this wreckage. I mean, whatever the hell it was, literally blew through that wall. See, what I don't understand is... Watch this. Bam. Door's perfectly fine. Some stuff is knocked over. Right? The window is unbroken. Neither is this window. So whatever the hell it was, it was already in here. It had to have been already in here. And then once I went downstairs, it was like, bam! Blew through it. I mean, just, ah. Still a beautiful game, though. I just think like, it's funny how there's little things like that. I mean, that thing had to have been already in there. Oh, yeah. Then, then like, one of the best scenes so far. Where the hell am I? Bam. Oh, sorry. Bam. Freaking castle. Looks amazing. And then there's that. That's going to be a lot of issues. We had a lot of problems in this little village. Here we go. Slide. 
flag. And every time I see it, I still feel bad for this poor horse. What makes me feel even worse for it, though, is that it's literally steaming. Like, you see the steam coming off of it? That means this is a fresh kill. Just creepy. Okay. Maybe maybe they're out? You need to interact with that to get it on the map. Maybe they're out? Yeah, the fresh food, you know. Food's strewn everywhere. Looks like someone took a giant chunk out of the wall. Oh yeah, and you can't forget that either. Just a giant blood splatter across the entire wall. I still don't know what the hell would have done that, but still pretty, pretty, you know, still pretty bad. But that, yeah, they're just out, buddy. They're just out. Way to stay optimistic. Oh, I missed it. Fuck, I think I, hopefully I got it on the recording. Yeah, that was the horse being dragged down the road. Anyways, built this thing. Okay. Bunch of stuff. I'm pretty sure. I didn't hear that last time. Blood splatter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was for the pigs. I think there were pigs here. Oh, I don't remember there being blood on this. No, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in the outhouse. No, there's not. I know in some of these outhouses there's some, like, scrap, so I'll be getting that. And then in here, I want to say that there's supposed to be something, I think it's that, that you can get to, but I don't know how. Because, um, I think if you like, look, actually look at the map, it'll, this will stay red. Of course, this one is red because I don't have a lockpick yet. There's the well. So, yeah, we're just going to keep going. All of that just door. Do not enter. I don't remember where this leads to. I'm not entirely sure where that goes. Oh yeah, I can move faster now. This thing is yeah. Oh, and I think I saw someone comment on another um I think it was a post I saw about this. Is that this village is essentially That uh, this village is supposed to be almost like a representation of a Romanian village, like a small Romanian town. Yeah, I'm not totally sure if anyone. Oh, I forgot that was in here. Yeah, see, look at it. It's just so freaking creepy. Gross. And of course, Mother Miranda. But yeah. I always find stuff like that interesting. That. Um, hmm. I think we're supposed to go that way. Um, I don't think there's anything in this truck. Turned over truck. Yeah, that's where the horse was drug. It was just drug down the road. Yeah, okay, I didn't think so. I, I couldn't I couldn't honestly couldn't remember if there's anything there or not. I don't think I can really collect anything until I get my first weapon, which is here in a second. This also I don't understand the meaning of this. Hey, I love how the tractor's just still running. Let me just come on, get tractor. Yep. Yeah, I I don't I don't understand this either. what happened? It's a good question, Ethan. Good question. Hopefully here pretty soon we'll uh we'll get an answer to that. I'm pretty sure we'll have at least a generally good idea of Well, I should say a general idea of what happened. Fuck. I don't exactly know what I need for this. I love how the chickens are like the one thing that's alive. I don't remember that opening for me. 
Okay, here we go. You know, shit's about to get real. Alright. Especially when the game gives you, uh, health. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. Wait a minute. That could not have rolled by on its own. Something must be behind the curtain. What could it be? Here's... Johnny! Ah, no, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Are you listening? Hey! What the? Shit! Dead body? Wait, there's more. I didn't interact with this. Push it out of the way. Yeah, there's a lot of dead bodies down here. Jesus Christ. Yep, a lot. A lot of dead bodies. What the hell is wrong with this place? Good question, Ethan. <laughs> Good question. I have a feeling that you're about to get your answer, buddy. Hey, buddy. Stay right there. No need for violence. And that's why we're not going to get tetanus. Oh, this is so bad. Dude. We lost a finger in the hand. Oh. Took a chunk out of that hand. What the fuck was that? Well. I think he's, uh, I think he wants to get back. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? I just, uh, yeah, no need for that. Oh, shit. I don't remember how to shove. Hey, 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 hey. No. Bad. What the hell? Okay, I wasn't sure if I... I couldn't remember if I could actually do that. Well, I should say if I needed to do that. Um, now I think there's some more ammo in here somewhere. Ah, nope, but there's that. That. Okay, no, I thought I saw something back there. Okay. Well then. I think Ethan's day is officially ruined. Um, what? Okay. Hand fluid. I can make some medicine, which I don't really need to right now. Um, I don't think there's anything over here, though. No. Okay. Pop this open. And voila. Village is now open to us. Let's see, see. The smart thing would have been to not, you know, go chasing after that, but we did precisely the opposite.
Oh yeah, I forgot about that too. Oof. Um. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Every time that that kind of scares me. I'm not gonna lie. Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey, yo, whoa. Chill, bud. No. I'm just trying to do my own thing here. Okay? I don't care about you. I don't want no trouble, alright? Come on down here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. Whoa. Hey. No. Now why do y'all why do y'all gotta be like this? Oh, oh, sorry. I thought I was okay. I thought I was on the other side of the. I thought I was at the upstairs. Ooh, you know what? I wonder if I can get that. Oh shit! Hey, yo, yo, yo! Hey, whoa! Oh hell. I need to get out of here. Hey, no. Oh damn it, he didn't guard. Okay, we're gonna try this. No, it didn't work. It's a lie. I want to see if I can get this. Got it. Okay. I was curious as to whether, so I was, I wanted to try to get that. Alright, buddy, you can go and take me out. Um, no, 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 don't, don't take me out yet. Don't take me out yet. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. This, I need to move this. Oh, yo, what, what? Is it They'll just over? like... Once you kind of get close to dying, they'll grab you, drag you out into the middle of the street, and then that's it. That's the end of it. Which I thought it was that, but apparently not. That's three rounds. Are you serious? Why can't I grab the shotgun? Okay. I'm literally just gonna go around looting. Oh wait. Okay. Bam. Hey, what's up, buddy? And I'm gonna drop down. These guys are mean. I don't know what I did to them. They're mean. You know that? You guys are mean. There's no end to them. Oh shit. No! <laughs> no! Fuck off! I like how they didn't even face him. No, 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 no. No. Bam. 
Bad. Bad mo- oh shit. Bad monster. Bad. No. Oh. No! I meant to guard! Damn it! Snuffy. Chit. I don't want to use my shotgun shell. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, get down. Down the ladder. Down the ladder. Run. Run, Ethan. I don't remember how long I'm actually supposed to survive. There's, there's like a, like I said, there's like a. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh, okay, there it is. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we got past it. There's, there's like a, I don't know exactly how far. There's, a, there's a point where you need to survive, and then this happens. I don't remember how long it is. Apparently, I reached it. I wasted 30 rounds of ammo. Though. I didn't want to waste that much ammo. And then this asshole. I think his name is Urias or something like that. That's a badass. I'm loving to death, but I mean, he also wants to kill me. And we can't have that. What an ugly son of a. I mean, what? He, he, he's ugly. Bam, bam. Okay, cool. We made it. We survived. Stupid arrow. Oh, yeah. Part of the cutscene is that you're supposed to get shot in the leg by an arrow. From an arrow. When that happens, you're like, oh my god, what the crap? You look down at it, and you're like, oh no. Then you look up, right as a lichen smacks you across the face, grabs you, and throws you into the river. That's how that's actually supposed to happen. And then that's the crazy old woman. We'll meet her in a second. First, we're gonna go and I'm gonna loot the crap out of all of this. Which I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna pause it right here so I can go loot everything, cut that, cut all of that out, and then we'll go meet her. And then that'll probably end it for um this episode. But uh yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it real quick. So wah. Okay, guys, so I was exploring the village. Um, I know I said I was going to cut everything out, but I wanted you guys to see this. So, I came across this. I don't know where this goes to. I actually didn't see this on my last playthrough. I, I say playthrough. I didn't get I didn't get very far, but I didn't see this last time. That's a thing. 
Now, tell me that does not look like some kind of demented demon fetus. It looks disgusting. Like, this thing looks horrible. But anyways, so yeah. So now we're going to cut, cut to uh, uh, the next point. Okay, so yeah. Alright, so made a little bit of ammo. Um, didn't have enough uh, scrap. But I do, I think, I have more gunpowder. And I also made a little bit of ammo for my shotgun as well. Um, and yeah, so we got a little bit of ammo. It wasn't a lot because I unfortunately wasted quite a bit of it just staying alive. Um, but it should be okay. I'm pretty sure that with the mode that we're, easy mode we're playing on, we'll find plenty of it. So let's continue. Now we get to meet the old lady. In life and in death. We give glory. Uh, hello? You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose! Yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Here? <laughs> yeah, see, I told you she was a little crazy. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and let me know how you thought, what you thought of the video. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.